All righty. I am about to answer the age-old question of how many miles per gallon can you get out of a Honda Fit? <clears throat> and how far can you go on a single tank of gas? Uh, I'm going to go to Ohio and back. I'm leaving Chicago here in a minute. I'm about to go fill up with gas. I'm going to reset my odometer, trip odometer, and uh, go to Ohio. It's about 300 miles away. I'm going to see... I'm going to try to do my best hypermiling, not like dangerous or anything. I'm not going to try to cause an accident, but I'm going to try to, I'm going to ride in the right lane, hopefully as much as possible and just eke out as much fuel economy as I can out of this 2013 Honda Fit. It's got about 30,000 miles on it and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Here we go, resetting the trip odometer, we're at zero. Off. We are got a full tank now. Just went to Dunkin' Donuts, got a banana and a bagel. Hopefully that'll be enough sustenance for this trip. Didn't want to get any coffee because then I'd have to stop and that would ruin my, my gas mileage, obviously. So keeping it light and tight. Alright, let's hit the road. Let's do it. We're starting up. And let's get rolling. Got a little over 30 now. It was only about like two minutes ago. I'm already up over 30. I think I could do about 50 miles a gallon. 40 miles per gallon. I'm on Lakeshore Drive, which is, you know, it's easy to do 50 miles a gallon, or 50 miles an hour, which is pretty good speed to get really good results. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, how long I can keep this up for. Uh -huh, here comes a red light. Great, I have to hit my brakes. It's like these people are so unaware of what I'm trying to do here. Braking is like so bad for hypermiling. God! Come on, people. There's a fit there. I wonder if he's doing the same thing. Probably. He's probably hypermiling as well. Right, so we're about 17 miles in. Uh, I'm trying to... My goal is to stay around 55, 60 miles an hour. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of traffic. So I'm not being a huge asshole right now, which is good. I don't want to be. I don't want to cause an accident or anything like that because, yeah, you can. Hypermiling can be dangerous, so don't do it, right? Leave it to the pros like me. 25 miles. We're up to 45.1. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough there. Apologies all around. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, did you, well, you know, uh, what are, what's your tire pressure set at? Uh, what's the wind speed? Uh, there's a, there's so many numerous factors that are gonna play a part. This isn't a very accurate test. And, uh, yeah, I know, I know, this isn't very accurate. It's just, I'm jumping in my stock Honda Fit 2013. I don't know what my PSI is in my tires. Sorry. You know, I, it's like my mom always told me, if your friends are gonna criticize your hypermiling, they're not your friends, okay? So, it is what it is, dude. We're at 46 miles per gallon, and our worst nightmare just happened. Speed limit just increased to 65 miles per hour in Indiana. Oh boy, this is not good for hypermiling. You know, two lane road, not too many lights, doing like 50, 55, MPGs dropped a little bit, but yeah, this is pretty much what you dream of right here. Oh yeah, this is incredible. I wish there was a double rainbow right now that I can say I saw, but that would be the only thing that could make this moment any more special. Wondering at one point in this test experiment that I start to wonder Why am I doing this again? Uh, let's say it's about mile 65 All right, I <clears throat> just want to check in we're at 100 miles now Got it up to 41.6. I got my Cruise control set at 55 You know as I was uh, starting to tell people that I was doing this trip and tell them about you know the purpose of this trip and that I was going to be doing it myself and you know not taking my wife along with me. Uh, invariably, the number one question was, 
How is a guy like you that would make a video like this married? And we're at 150 miles. Uh, still at about 46.3. Um, <clears throat> driving pretty closely behind this guy here for the last, coming up probably about 10 miles now. And uh, it's been paying off. Paying off pretty good. Almost at 47 miles a gallon. Pretty intense. I know. I've uh, started drafting more behind semis. I'm sure they love me for that. Uh, but so I'm at 189 miles. And there's a little thing there. I'm up to 47.5. So, yeah, dude. Yeah. Two hundred miles. <clears throat> we are now at forty-seven six. Uh, Two hundred and fifty mile update. Two hundred fifty miles of dropping. Keeps on dropping. I got no semis to draft. What's going on? My morale is low. I keep I keep like I'm going almost going seventy now. It's not really hypermiling at all. I got people behind me. I guess I could just slow down and let them pass, but speed limit 70. I don't want to like be going way too slow and cause an accident or anything, so. Um, I'm at 300 miles. Just got to this guy's farm, bought that scooter from him. <laughs> I'm at 46.3 miles. Uh, <coughs> just at 350 miles. Let's see if we can. We're at 45.9. If I keep up this pace, I should be able to get 500 miles out of this tank. I want to, that's kind of my goal right now. <clears throat> so stay tuned and uh, see if I get 500 miles out of this tank. It is 400 miles. Gas light is not even on yet. That's my back door is open because I got that scooter in the back. It doesn't close all the way, but gas light is not even on yet. <clears throat> got 400 miles. I'm not lying to y'all. Um, let's see what we're at now. 46.4, pretty sweet, we're climbing. Getting back up to respectability. I was uh, drafted behind the semi doing like 60 for a good 15 minutes and that got me, got me up there. I'm waiting for another semi truck to come past me so I can go draft him again. So yeah, I'm really hoping to get 500 miles before I run out of gas. I didn't bring a gas can with me in case I do. Uh, which might make it interesting because I don't know where the hell I am in the middle of Ohio right now. <clears throat> I don't see many houses around. Um, so yeah, could be a very good YouTube video of me walking around Ohio looking for gas. May take a, a weird turn. 400 or 435 miles. Gas light's still not on. That's awesome. It's got a 10.9 gallon tank. Uh, I should probably know when the light goes on. I think it's like in a gallon and a half or something like that. So, I think I'm gonna make it. I just came on, of course, as soon as I opened my yapper. All right, 450 miles. Gas is getting low. Getting a little nervous, actually. I'm not 100% sure. How accurate all this is. I mean, if the calculations are correct, I'm getting 46.8 miles per gallon. I'm trying to go as slow as possible. You can see there's nobody on the roads. So I'm not really offending anybody. 7 1. 470 miles. 40 miles on driving on the gas light. Keeps on getting lower and lower. But I'm up to 47.2. Ladies, oh man, we're getting so close, getting so close there as well, unfortunately. My only concern is, you know, I want to go until I hit 500, but then hopefully after I do, I like literally hit 500 miles as I pull into a gas station. That's what I want. Because I'm just nervous that I'm not going to be able to find a gas station for like 20 miles after I hit 500. And then I'm closer, and I'm up.
Oh man, it's getting to the point now where every time I feel a bump, I feel like it's my engine sputtering out of gas. And I'm like looking around like, all right, uh, I guess I'll go there. No, I guess, no. All right, it's gonna be a long walk. I'm like, should start stretching my legs now because I gotta go jog to a gas station. Coming up on 65 miles. No, actually more than that. I think it came on at like 4:32. So almost 70 miles with the gas light on. <laughs> it's not a good feeling if you've ever done that. And I'm driving like 50 miles an hour, maybe. So it's been like over an hour. It's like an hour and a half of driving with that light on. Even though it's like, all right, at first it goes on, but it's. You have no idea what that light means. It's like so much anxiety that just radiates through that little LED light bulb under there. Just having it there, a little gas, gas thing just staring at you, being like, don't forget about me. You're almost out of me. And you're out here with the wolves because your stupid YouTube video. But then this is like what's like, yeah. I'm like right there. This is what brings it all back. If anybody is even still watching this video, you're almost as big of a nerd as I am. For this now. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 500 miles, single tank of gas, 47.5 miles per gallon average. Still nowhere near a gas, ta gas station. So this is gonna be climbing. I think I saw, I think I see there's a gas station coming up in like a mile. Hopefully it's open. It is Sunday, the Sabbath, in Indiana. I see gas station. New world record. Most miles ever put on a Honda Fit in one tank. Bingo bango. They said it couldn't be done, and look at it, it's done. No, 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 no. They said they said it shouldn't be done. That's what they said. They said don't do it because nobody will care and watch. That's what they said. But anyways, I did it. So <clears throat> go me. Forty-eight. Again, five hundred and forty-six miles. 48.1 miles. Five hundred and eighty-two miles so far. Still got about another 18, 20 to go. I'm now up to 48.6 miles. Alright. We're about 500. 900. <laughs> Too many miles for one day. 48.8. Tempted to almost just keep driving because that thing keeps going up. If I were to just drive around all night, I could easily get that over 50. But I'm like already, my brain hurts already and my eyes are like, probably should not be safe to be driving. I've been driving for 12 hours now. And... I think I'm just I'm done. I'm gonna fill up here in a minute and uh, tally tally the data. So 599.3, 48.8. That's the final fill up. And I'll add up and see what we got. I <clears throat> just parked. <laughs> so close to 600. I'm tempted to just drive around the block, but screw it. Six, I'm calling it 600. I'm rounding up 600 miles. 48.8 average over that trip. I could have done that trip, probably shaved off three hours <clears throat> had I just driven. But I, you know, I did this for you guys. You're welcome.